So I'm, I'm rambling into the camera about several different things, whether or not they'll manifest into videos, you'll see. But I wanted to talk about my position on meme academics and talk about a little website called Philosopher's Meme and how I think memes can ultimately be really useful and intellectual, but they have nowhere near reached their capacity and nobody really wants to talk about it. And I guess, uh, Instead of talking about this on a stream, I'm going to ramble for a little bit. This might be a short video, it might be long. Whether it's behind the meme or know your meme or any other internet personality or YouTube channel that talks about memes specifically, there are the more nuanced conversations about how memes are structured or how they're communicated online and what effect they can have on the internet and discourse as a whole. And some memes certainly don't lend themselves to that type of conversation, and I'm aware of that, but most memes are evolving in ways that require abstract thinking to even understand or get anything out of. So I find it increasingly frustrating that there is a lack of communication and people guiding good conversation about this. And I truly believe that right now, from all the people that I've seen, there's not really anyone doing a good job of this, other than philosophersmeme.com. And what I've read and what I've seen from that website uh, has ultimately fascinated and fueled my passion almost, almost it's a passion I'd say, for memetics and understanding them in an academic way. If you've seen any of the internet iconography videos so far, and there's only been two, you can tell where this series is going, and it is about memetics mostly. It will be about memetics and memes. I want to give an alternative in-depth discussion about memes where other people aren't doing it. I don't even see it on Reddit or 4chan or any other place. I only see it through the lens of academic papers and websites like Philosopher's Meme. Maybe that's the fact that there is a level of philosophy and sociology that needs to be the basis for understanding what we're talking about. But even then, if we go to a place like Philosopher's Meme, we can learn about the irony cycles that a meme goes through, like pre-ironic memes and ironic memes, post-ironic memes and meta-ironic memes, and understand how they ultimately affect each other in history and how there is a cycle of how these things work and that's extremely fascinating and you'll see a video multiple videos about that coming up soon the fact that people talk about memes on an individual level and not a collective level or uh, a panoptic view or just an overview of meme culture in uh in a way is uh, doing such a disservice because there's such a broad spectrum of outside of our culture and internet meme culture it affects things in such a significant way uh we mainly can communicate through memes now in a way if we started like a dm thing and it was only just memes you'd have to communicate through that and that would be an interesting social experiment in and of itself but the fact that we can do that now is mind-blowing and that it's even a possibility. Like, there's no one out there except for philosophers' memes talking about, like, uh, the decade of memes and how they've been structured and how they've affected uh, our society in a way and understanding them on such a deep, interesting level. And I really wanted to discuss with you guys, like, what and how I could do that better, but also, is it interesting enough to even pull off for a semi-large audience. Nobody really even talks about the fact that meme culture was a niche that poured into the mainstream and even the most esoteric of memes and ideas is now mainstream enough to be consumable and palpable. Uh, and we keep just observing memes on an individual level because that's the only thing we know how to do. It's we don't know how to discuss them on such a broader level. Really, this video's intention is to talk about why meme academics are important, but to also encourage you to go over to philosophersmeme.com or the Facebook page and give a lot of these things a read and really talk about and try to understand the importance of meme philosophy in our modern age. Meme academics is important to me because it is ultimately how language is going to be, in a way, condensed 
into ideas. It, it's communication in the abstract, uh, probably in the most abstract way we've seen yet, but it's so universally and subconsciously understood. But I'd like to encourage a discussion in the comments about meme academics, and uh, if you've read anything on Philosopher's Memes for my suggestion, uh, tell me what you think, uh, what do you think about meme academics as a whole. Uh, just kind of rambling, uh, wanted to make a few videos before next week's video so I can just get content out there, but uh, just something I wanted to get off my chest without giving like a massive video essay for. It's just, there's no use for it. Other than that, expect a video tomorrow, hopefully, on something entirely different. Bye.